Ah, what a splendid day for riding motorcycles. <laughs> so we are in Wales at the Sweet Lamb Complex and contrary to uh, rumour this isn't a Chinese dish. It's a, it's a wonderful venue in the middle of Wales, just uh, north of Brecon, south of Snowdonia. It's where the Rally GB stages are held and everything. I mean, this, this place is massive. It's got every type of adventure, off-road, enduro environment you want. I mean, it, it just doesn't get any better than this. What a day. every manufacturer there's been a, a sudden slew an onslaught of every manufacturer launching uh, an adventure base or adventure schools or experiences for their big bikes you know we've had BMW with Pavies started off Triumph have just launched one uh, to, to, for the Tigers Honda are doing the day thought down in uh, Devon uh, there's been a Yamaha one, and now KTM have decided finally, I mean, of all the manufacturers that should be doing this, so I think KTM, you think KTM would be in the forefront, but yeah, so we're at the Sweet Land Complex, the day after their first rally day. So I'm on the 1090, oh god, dust, what's the dust like? Are we dusty? We're on the 1090, Adventure R, so our host for the day is that man, Chris Birch. Off-road legend, Romaniacs champion. Honestly, I've learned more in the past five minutes with Chris about off-road riding, the basics. I'm not talking like going fast and I'm talking the basics. Yeah, body position, weight distribution. I mean, but where to put your feet and just like, the basics of, it's very different to motocross, very different to enduro in many ways, with riding these big girls, but yeah, just little bits made me feel very much more comfortable on the bike. So yeah, I'm basically Chris Birch now. Oh yes. Yeah, there seems to be a sort of penchant for buggering other people's bikes. Which is, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to be facetious, but when you've just spent 15, 20 grand on one of these, and uh, the last thing you want to do is go and smash it up. But yeah, these these rally days, adventure days, experience days are. It's windy. What a, what a place. What a view. The thing I like about Chris is, I mean, the guy can ride a bike. He is one of the most talented in the world without doubt and yet even the sheep love him look and yet he's so articulate the way he, he brings his knowledge across and helps knobbers like us let's go at lush oh my god you're having a steffi graph aren't you we're going the left, yeah, you're going right. Yeah, I've learned more this sort of half an hour, 45 minutes of chatting with Chris and feel more comfortable about riding off-road on these things than I ever have done. It's ridiculous. So now we're on the the big girl, 
the daddy the 1290 super adventure oh, and you may remember some time ago when I took this or we took this to Wildham Farm supercross track and had some uh, <laughs> some fun <laughs> Our lead rider is Paul Bolton, and that's Chad. Bolts is a extreme enduro rider, pretty handy world rider, another legend, another KTM legend. So, I'm hoping I can teach him a few things. I just find the 1290 a little bit easier to ride. I don't know what it is, if it was the ergos or the I don't know, it just feels a bit more manageable. I think today is just a taster, it's just a little soup song of what the guys, uh, Paul and Chris Birch, have been doing with the customers. Oh, dusty, are we? A little clean, a little cleanse. <laughs> are we going to do that? I probably would have a go if I was wearing armour or if I was 15 years younger. Hurry up, mate! Whoa, Jesus Christ, that looks a little bit hairier than I thought. Hairy Mary. You know, for big old girls, these things sure can hustle. We obviously went on the launch in uh, Peru. That was my first taste of proper dunes. Obviously, it helps having TKCs on. <laughs> oh, this is the sort of thing I love. The sort of like slow speed, technical stuff. Makes you feel like a hero when you get it right. Adventure! Oh, oh, little legs are struggling. So am I, to be fair. Oh, he's done it. He's done it. Oh, yeah. Dougie Lampkin. There we go. Bit of a splash. So there's a skills section. Points for foot down. This is a lot harder than it looks. Shit. Shit. <laughs> oh, sorry, mate. Sorry? Fucking hell. What a... right? Yeah, fine. Right. <laughs> I was just giving it the doggy lampkin. It just, well, <laughs> sorry. Go on, son. Yeah, that's, that's what I was going to do. It's amazing how, how something so little and insignificant can cause such anxiety.
It's a seesaw, Marjorie door. We got, we got to do it. We got to give it a go. Yeah. I'm gonna do it sitting down now, feet on the floor. Yeah, so just imagine it's a hill start. Yeah. Keep it there, keep pushing forward. Well, you've got your feet down, stabilizers off. So you've got to keep rolling? Yeah, you've got to keep moving to make it drop yeah. down, haven't you? So. Oh, f shit. Right, feet down. You reckon? It's good to go. Okay, we can't end like this. No, we can't, can we? Are you alright? Yeah, fine, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Bit quicker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I just thought saw Chad went down. I thought he went down too fast. No, it, no. No, it, no it, it was it's this point here where the, the seesaw is like Right, it. okay. He doesn't know which way it's going. Yeah. That causes the problem. Right. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fine, yeah, yeah. Right, come on. Let's do it. Adventure! I did it. Mummy's gonna be proud of me. Cheers, mate. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, it's alright, it's a bit sore. No, I've broken it. <laughs> oh, mate. Well, tell you what. I may have broken my wrist and a. No, I'm joking. I may have hurt it a bit. But that was so much fun. There's nothing like challenging yourself off-road to make yourself a better rider. And if you don't already know, which some of you probably won't, I've had my entry accepted for the Western Beach Race this year, October 22nd, get down there and have a laugh, or go and laugh at me. Just going for a trail ride with Chris Birch, no biggie. So for lunch I had some uh, lamb, minted lamb and chicken and some weird sort of Welsh salad. It was apple, celery and mayonnaise, new potatoes and uh, that was about it really. A bit of bread and butter, a bit of bread and butter. This place is six and a half thousand acres. So, you don't have to ride the same bit twice all day. I don't think you get bored in a hurry, would you? Now everyone jumped for the, uh, the 1090, but I, uh, I think I'm only the only one not riding a 1090. It's not a willy waving thing, I just prefer, I know, I just prefer the 1290. This is a bit gnarly. Oh, 
this is this this is it Whoa, that's a bit rutty oh, oh, oh. yes my balls are fine thank you very much well that's it job done survived another one I want to ride this now.